Okay, thanks for joining. Hi, I'm Katie Crane. Thanks for joining me today. Now, to get started today, you are going to need uh, like a tea towel or a little hand towel to wipe your feet after we've done what we're doing and some sort of moisturizer, cream or oil that you can pop on your feet. Um, so we're going to do some release work. We're going to go one foot at a time. Now before we get started, just do me a favor. I'm not going to do it, but I want to talk you through it. I just want you to stand up wherever you are and place your feet about hip width apart like mine are now and just bring an awareness into what your feet feel like when they're touching the ground right now. Uh, allow for your weight just to go forwards and backwards in your feet. Do that three times. Just recognize any tightness or any inability to move well. And then just take your weight from side to side a couple of times. We're gonna do this again after we've done all of this foot release work. Bring your weight back to the center in your feet. Okay, remember how that feels. Let's go ahead and sit on down. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Oh, it's not even undone. I've never even used this before. I think this has been sitting in my cupboard for about five years. It was a gift from somebody and I've, I'm now using it. Okay, so you're just gonna use, it doesn't need to be anything in particular, just any kind of moisturizer is fine and make sure your spandex is out the way and we're just going to put a little bit of this on our foot okay so the first thing i want you to do is grab onto your big toe and the toe next to your big toe like so and just move your toes forwards and backwards now the bone of your toes is as long as the bone of your finger. So if you just go ahead and pop your pointing finger onto your big toe from the top, then that's about the length of your bones of your toes, right? So when we talk about your toes, it's not just these little digits at the very top, it actually goes down a little bit further. So I want you holding on at the base of your toes, the base meaning where my toes actually grow into my foot. That's where you're holding on and you're just moving your toe, toes up and down. So you can feel those bones moving. And then you're gonna go to the next joint. Mobilize that one. And then to the next joint. And then to the last one. Good. Now I want you to take all of your fingers and pop them between your toes and then roll your toes down towards the floor and roll your toes backwards. We're gonna do this four times. Roll your toes down and roll them backwards couple more times so ultimately throughout this whole process what we're doing is releasing all 30 of those joints remember I said there's 28 bones and 30 odd joints so we're mobilizing all of those joints all right so now you're going to hold on to your foot my thumbs are on the top of my foot my fingers are on the bottom of my foot and I'm actually going to rotate. So I think of sending my big toe down to the floor, my little toe back up towards my shoulder. I'm twisting around the toes of my foot and then I'm going to twist the other way. Let's do everything four times. So a lot of people are always very concerned about their spine health when they come and see me. And in my mind, I often think to myself, but sure, my spine is very, very important, don't get me wrong. But when I take that thinking of my spine down to my feet, each foot has the same number of bones as my whole spine. So my foot health is equally imp as important as 
the health of my spine. How's that feel? Alright, so now you're going to take your hand like so, this part of your hand, and cup it on the back of your heel. So the back of my heel is my Achilles tendon. You may have heard of that tendon before. It's the biggest tendon in my whole body. Uh, and I think of my Achilles tendon being, um, it gives me the ability to bounce. Right, so the, the better health of my Achilles tendon, the better I am at pretending to be a kangaroo, I suppose, but it's gonna give me the ability to jump and run. So you're gonna grab onto your heel like so, and you're gonna pull your heel down towards the floor, and then let it go. So ultimately, you're trying to pull your heel away from your calf, pull your heel down that way. Your calf is getting pulled up this way. So you're trying to create an elastic feeling. We're going to do this four times as well. So really hold on to the bone. Remember I showed you in that last video when I was holding on to the bone of that heel. Last one. Now keep holding on to the bone of your heel and I want you to try and swing it from side to side. It's easiest if I actually hold on to the top of my foot with one hand and hold on to my heel with the other hand and slide that heel side to side. It doesn't move very much. It's, it's pretty set in there, but there has to be some mobility or there should be some mobility. Ultimately, when I walk, my foot has to do a little bit of a roll or a rotate. A little bit of a roll, I would think of. Good. All right, so now you're going to pop your fingers from the other side through your toes underneath. Hold on above your foot and do four circles in one direction. And then four circles in the other direction. Now this is a little express session. We're not staying here for very long. Now you're going to pull the toes back towards the calf as far as you can. I'm pulling my toes back towards here. And pull the toes away from the calf. We're gonna do that four times as well. This is the express session today, but you can definitely spend more time than this on yourself. I was very fortunate and I grew up with parents that massaged my feet every night before I went to bed. So I always had very good foot health. But for some of you, this is a very new experience, I know. Okay, cool. So we've released a lot of the joints in that foot. Now before we get to the other foot, do me a favor and just stand up again. Feel the difference on the foot that you've just done to the foot that you haven't done. I can feel it even just sitting here. I'm not even standing up and I can feel that the foot that I've worked on is spread wider onto the floor, right? So now what's happened is I have more feedback from the earth to my foot. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side so that you remember what to do. Get a little bit of your goo. Pop it onto your foot. And you want to hold on to your big toe and your next toe down. Remembering that the joints or the bones of your toes are as long as your finger. So around about at the base of your finger, that's where you want to be holding. And just mobilize those joints up and down or backwards and forwards. And then the next two, about four of each. Now, if we understand the importance of good foot health, which is what we're exploring, then potentially you understand the importance of not always wearing shoes. If you live in the tropics like I do, that's easy. I don't have to wear shoes because it's nice and warm, but if you were in a, live in a colder city, it's much more difficult for you. Uh, Okay, so then we're going to uh, hold on to the foot and we're going to twist it one direction and then twist it the other direction. Do that about four times. So keep twisting. I'm keeping my heel pretty steady. Um, so yeah, you want get, to get out of your shoes. 
Having said that, if you are not wearing shoes but you live in an apartment or a house that has tiles or concrete, you're not doing yourself any favors. You need to be wearing no shoes and getting onto the earth. Only because, well two reasons, you get um, positive energy from the earth, which is very, very good for your body. Um, but also, the, uh, the concrete is too hard for you. So it ends up vibrating or reverberating up into your body. Your body need, your feet need to be on uneven surfaces. Okay, so now we are over the top, through the toes. We're gonna push the toes down and pull the toes back. Four times, push the toes down. So get your shoes off and get outside, ultimately. In the garden, at the beach, on rocks, on uneven natural surfaces, your feet need to do that every day. Definitely, if you are doing that on a daily basis, then you're going to have a much better foundation of support. Remembering that the foundation of your support has a direct relationship to the health of your deep abdominal muscles, specifically your pelvic floor. Pelvic floor works with all of your abdominal muscles. Uh, now we're gonna hold on to the bottom of your foot. So thumbs over the top, fingers on the bottom, and twist, and twist. Good, once you've done that four times, I may have done that twice now, I'm sorry, but that's okay, still feels good. Then you wanna hold on to the back of the heel of your foot and pull down and release and pull and release. Sometimes it can be very different on one foot to the other. Recognize that in your body, sometimes that will have a direct correlation to other stuff that you've got going on further up the line. Good, now I'm trying to twist my heel, so I'm keeping towards my toes pretty steady. I'm just trying to twist my heel side to side. It doesn't move very far in this direction, that's okay. Or maybe it does, maybe it does move a lot for you. Last one, I'm gonna pop my, my fingers through the bottom of my toes and pull my toes back towards my shin and pull my toes down. So this is such easy work for us to do at home of an evening maybe, you know, when you're watching a little bit of television or hanging out with family, just having a chat. You can all be doing your foot release work. I will be giving you other options of doing foot release work with other things that you might have around the house, but I do love this hands-on option. Maybe this is a good excuse to ask for somebody who loves you to give you a bit of a foot massage. Okay, now stand, both feet please, standing up. Feel the difference, feel how much more your feet are spread apart, all of the joints in your feet have a little bit more space. So a lot of what we're, exploring in your Pilates is to give your joints more space so that then your muscles can move within their full dynamic capacity. When my muscles are moving within their full capacity, all of the fibers are working well, then better blood flow, better blood supply, more nutrients going into all of my joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments. I move with so much more ease. If I move with more ease, I have better endurance. Um, you know, everything, everything just works better. So happy feet, healthy hips and knees is what I always say. Um, healthy hips and knees and that's really how we move, right? So that's it for today. Um, I am, this is just a little bit of an extra, so we're going to go into some exercises. Join me on the mat for our foot health exercises and sing out if you have any questions. Thank you for joining me.